Embark on a mysterious journey through history as we unravel the captivating portrait of an extraordinary individual. Brace yourself for remarkable tales that will touch your heart and engage your mind. Experience an extraordinary world where words hold immense power. Welcome to the realm of Mark Twain. Mark Twain, also known as Samuel Langhorn Clemens, was born in the small town of Hannibal, Missouri. His father was a lawyer and his mother came from a family of farmers. Unfortunately, at the age of 11, he lost his father, which had a significant impact on his life and became a motif in many of his stories. Young Samuel quickly discovered his passion for adventure. He was a frequent visitor to the banks of the Mississippi River, where he observed ship after ship, listened to sailors' tales, and dreamed of travels. It was there that his love for water and fascination with adventures were born. At the age of 12, Clemens started working as a printer at the local newspaper. It was there that he honed his writing skills, delved into journalistic techniques, and discovered the power of the written word. It was a period in which he first encountered an audience and felt the magic of how his text could impact osseurs. His childhood and work at the newspaper had a tremendous influence on Twain. They introduced him to the world of literature and journalism, shaping his ability to observe, express himself vividly, and think critically. It was during this time that his passion for storytelling and utilizing words as a means of expressing thoughts and illusions began to flourish. However, the most crucial stage in Twain's life was his experiences on the Mississippi River. As a young man, he joined the crew of a steamboat that navigated this majestic river. Working on the boat was challenging, yet filled with adventures and fascinating people. It was there that his passion for travel, observing communities, and discovering the diversity of the world took root. During these journeys, Twain encountered people from various social backgrounds, from simple fishermen to influential traders. He observed their lives, stories, and struggles with different difficulties. These experiences became a source of inspiration for his creativity. Twain keenly noticed social injustice, racism, and violence, which later found reflection in his works. After years of working on the steamboat, Clemens decided to embark on a new chapter in his life. For several years, he tried his luck as a gold prospector in California, but without much success. This experience was a painful disappointment for him, but at the same time, it served as a valuable source of inspiration for creating stories about the passing of golden dreams and longing for lost happiness. His literary talent and charisma could not go unnoticed. Mark Twain became one of the most well-known writers of his time, and his speeches drew crowds. He was not only a writer, but also a public speaker whose presence on stage could enchant listeners. Twain traveled across the country, delivering lectures and appearing at various literary gatherings. His wit, intelligence, and understanding of human nature made his speeches both instructive and entertaining. He was a master at crafting stories that addressed socially important topics such as injustice, inequality, and hypocrisy. However, success and fame did not come easily. Twain struggled with many difficulties in his life. Financial problems, family issues, and personal losses made him feel wounded and lonely at times. But it was precisely in these challenging moments that he found strength and inspiration for his creations. His personal life was also filled with experiences. He married Olivia Langdon, known for her involvement in charitable work and the fight for women's rights. Olivia became not only his wife, but also his closest friend and support. Together, they raised three sons and one daughter, and family was of utmost importance to him. As a father, Twain experienced the joys and challenges of parenthood. His relationships with his children were filled with love, and he tried to instill his values and teach them responsibility. He was present in their lives, played with them, read them his stories, and sought to impart valuable life lessons. In his later years, Twain had to face further difficulties. Financial problems resulting from unsuccessful investments forced him to work intensively to repay his debts. Despite these challenges, 
He did not lose his fighting spirit and continued to write, realizing that words were his greatest asset. The last years of Twain's life were a period of reflection and writing his memoirs. He wrote about his childhood, youth, work on the steamboat, and many other aspects of his life. In these texts, he reflected his experiences, wisdom and humor, which became his trademarks. In 1910, at the age of 74, Mark Twain passed away, leaving behind an unforgettable legacy. His literary works and contributions to literature and society are still appreciated and inspire generations of writers. His life is a story of struggle, passion, and an incessant need to share his observations with others. Mark Twain was not only an author, but also an observer of human nature. His works are not only literary masterpieces, but also reflections of society and the era in which he lived. In every sentence, in every story, his strong personality, thoughts, and understanding of people were embedded. Thanks to Mark Twain, we have the opportunity to view the world with humor, appreciate the beauty of words, and understand the deeper aspects of human existence. His life and works remind us that even in the most challenging moments, it is worth maintaining faith in oneself and in one's passions. Mark Twain is an icon of literature and humanity, whose impact on the world remains enduring and inspiring. And thus concludes our film on the life of Mark Twain. But before the curtains close, let's transition from the story to some intriguing facts about his life. As we bid farewell to the captivating tale of Mark Twain, let's delve into a few captivating tidbits from his life that showcase the depth of his experiences and character. Twain was born just two weeks after the appearance of Halley's Comet in 1835. Interestingly, he predicted that he would go out with the comet as well. True to his words, he passed away on April 21, 1910, the day after Halley's Comet made its next appearance. He had a fascination with technology and was an early adopter of the typewriter. Twain was one of the first authors to submit a typewritten manuscript for publishing, making him a pioneer in the realm of modern writing. Twain had a strong bond with Nikola Tesla, the renowned inventor. They became close friends and shared a mutual admiration for each other's work. Twain even invested in some of Tesla's inventions, including a typesetting machine. Despite his success as a writer, Twain faced significant financial challenges throughout his life. In an attempt to recover from bankruptcy, he embarked on an extensive world lecture tour, showcasing his storytelling skills and wit to captivated audiences. Twain had a mischievous sense of humor. He once played an elaborate prank on his friend and fellow writer, Bret Harter. Twain sent Harter a manuscript, pretending it was his own work. Harty unknowingly praised the new author, not realizing it was his own writing that he was complimenting. Twain had a fondness for cats. He was known to have multiple cats as pets, and he once claimed that if a cat sits on a hot stove, it won't sit on a stove again, hot or cold. This sentiment led to his famous quote, if you pick up a starving dog and make him prosperous, he will not bite you. This is the principal difference between a dog and a man. Twain had a fascination with science and paranormal phenomena. He was a member of the Society for Psychical Research and conducted experiments on telepathy and mental telegraphy, trying to prove the existence of supernatural abilities. Throughout his life, Twain traveled extensively and wrote about his experiences in various parts of the world. One of his most notable journeys was a visit to the Holy Land, where he documented his observations and reflections in the travelogue, The Innocents Abroad. Twain had a lifelong fascination with pseudonyms. Besides Mark Twain, he also wrote under the pen names Thomas Jefferson Snodgrass, Josh, and Sir Louis de Conte. 
among others. This allowed him to explore different literary styles and experiment with his creativity. These intriguing glimpses into Mark Twain's life invite us to further appreciate the multifaceted nature of this literary legend. His trials, triumphs, and unyielding spirit continue to inspire and captivate audiences, ensuring that his legacy remains timeless.